Uh, we've been working for about, what, three hours? Three hours. Three hours. And it doesn't really look much different. Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of stuff's off the walls uh, over here. Lots of stuff. Um, how are you guys doing so far? How do you feel? So good. good. Yeah. Good. This guy's a master with the ladder. You know? Better with a ladder than I am parking. <laughs> <laughs> It's lunchtime. Uh, we are pretty freaking exhausted. It's been a, a heavy day of moving. We're at the Ben Loman Market. Um, this is about an hour and a half from San Francisco. And we're starving. Back at the uh, the garage uh, with all the stuff that we were ready to pack up. Great Model T. Uh, David's not taking that, but he is taking these three trailers. The trailer boat actually is going to an owner in Oxnard. Uh, this is going to the Murphy. That's a little trailer. That is a quite a spectacular trailer. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like uh, before these guys get in here. It's like a caboose. It's from like 1926 or something. Uh, it's quite extraordinary. It's like a little train car. Uh, this guy, I don't even know what that does, what that unfolds to look like, you see. But we still got a lot of, a lot of work. Uh, all this stuff is all vintage and it's all going to the museum on display over the next year. It's gonna take a while, including this Plymouth Woody.
of schedule. We're not ahead of schedule. We were supposed to be out of here at noon. It is now four o'clock. Uh, we still have this trailer to pack. We have this trailer to pack. We have this massive trailer back here uh, to load up. And then the Woody, which is still sitting way up there, right? Right there, there's the Woody. So we're not leaving anytime soon. to go we have inside uh, the small trailer boat and that's going to go last but we have the large Holt which is uh, 1926 vintage trailer and that's going to go on Dennis's truck right here with this trailer we've been here since 7 o'clock this morning we started at 5 o'clock last night so we're coming on 24 hours we had about six hours sleep and we're not even close to being done Finally, the Holt is on the trailer. These guys have done a spectacular job. Oh man, we're exhausted. But uh, the last thing to do is the trailer boat. This place is spectacular. Look at the view here. <sighs> Insane. And then once we have all three trucks loaded, we are headed back to the Murphy Museum, which is about a five and a half hour Drive. Steve, uh, I'm sorry, we're taking all your stuff, man. That's no problem. It's going yeah. to a good home. It's going to a good home. And where are you going? To a good home. <laughs> and not a nursing home. <laughs> no. <laughs> Florida. One step closer to a nursing yeah, home. Yeah, nice Florida. and warm. Yeah, good job. St. Augustine, Florida. Okay, good. Yep.
an incredible journey that was. What a credible adventure that was. Big thanks to uh, to David Neal for even asking uh, for us to go along on this journey. And also big thanks to Ken and Bobby and Dennis Burnham who, who joined the forces to go up there. It, that was a big job. That was a big job for five people. It would have been a big job for 10 people. But once again, it proves, you know, that when you are committed to a cause, when you get into something with, with everything that you are fully, uh, it's amazing what you can accomplish. You know, when we first got to that that garage and the door lifted, uh, I think we were, we were all equally awestruck at the sheer scope of that stuff, of how many uh, tiny things, small things, uh, everything from starting with the license plates on the on the walls to all the things that uh, that were hanging there and the, the the cans and everything else. And when you guys come to the Murphy and and you see all that stuff, you're gonna get a, a clear picture of you know how much that stuff was. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog as much as I enjoyed being there and editing this and going back and looking at this stuff. Uh, it was truly spectacular. Uh, the, it, this all goes to the Murphy Museum collection which uh, which is really great because it allows us to to be able to share stuff with you guys. Lots of amazing things happening. We have Muscles and Mojo that's happening next weekend on the 7th, April 7th from 7 to 9 a.m. Uh, that is the new Cars and Coffee that's that's happening at the Murphy. And then on May 11th is the Fireball Gallery, which is very, very exciting. I'm super stoked about it. You know, it's something that's uh, uh, maybe a lifelong dream for me to have my own gallery and to be able to, to feature our artists in uh, in the automotive community in a way that that I really think can make a difference. I hope you'll continue to join us, uh, not only here on the vlog, but in a lot of our automotive adventures. We got a lot of stuff coming. Shows like the La Jolla Concourse with the Secret Car Club. We got all kinds of really neat things that are happening. And I got a brand new caddy outside. Gotta go drive that. Gotta show you guys all about that. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I, I gotta go lay down. I gotta go lay down. Fantastic. <laughs>